Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. We got a request uh, from my boy Muscles. Uh, asked me to do the uh, Nick Webb and Courtney Bennett fight. I'm not sure why. He liked the odds on it. I, I, I've done all the tape on this, and uh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Book comes at you for every single major fight. Uh, show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport. Guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. The Patreon gets you the lock of the week, which is the absolute best gambling advice anywhere in the boxing universe. That's one. Um, you also get... In addition to Lock of the Week, you get asked to bookie anything. You request a video. Uh, request a video like, like like this one you're watching was requested by a Patreon. And uh, you get the updated props. When the prop drops, we get a lot of times we'll do a video in advance. There are props out. Come to join the Patreon. We'll show you how to make money on the props as well. Also, guys, go over to CarnivoreBar.com. CarnivoreBar.com. Get the nutrition of a steak and the convenience of a snack. That's Carnivore Bar. Dot com uh, on the move nutrition without compromise carnivalbar.com use promo code boxing to save 10% at checkout that's promo code boxing to save 10% at checkout all right let's get and also go over the other side of Texas boxing scene that's Texas boxing scene all proceeds go to autism research and recovery it's Texas boxing scene on YouTube let's get into this fight and this fight is I'm not even trying to sound funny. This fight is an absolute train wreck. Um, Nick Nick Webb, Courtney Bennett. I don't really think either one of these guys are a particularly good heavyweight. Uh, Nick Webb, 17 and three, hasn't fought in over three years. Last fight, last fought Fabio Worldly. How long ago was this fight? It was in Eddie Hearn's Garden. First round knockout to Fabio Worldly. Remember when Eddie had it fighting at his garden during COVID? That's the last time he fought, and he fought one round. Uh, go back before that, he fought two rounds with Eric Pfeiffer. So since COVID, he's fought three rounds. Uh, since this decade, since 2020, he's fought three rounds. Uh, he's got a second round knockout over Eric Pfeiffer. That was back in 2021, in March 2021. He fought a couple months later, got knocked out by Fabio Wardley in one round. Um, Courtney Bennett is, is a bit better. We'll get Nick Webb. Like I said, obviously the rust is a concern. Not super coordinated. He's sloppy. He throws a lot, and he tires himself out. He's easy to hit. He's not fundamentally good. He's just not very good. He, he likes to come forward. He's super aggressive and wild. He kind of he's sloppy. It's easy to hit him. It's easy to counter him. He will punch himself out. He pushes out his jab. It's slow. It's easy to counter. He throws wild shots. But his power is real. His power is definitely real. He's definitely a hitter. But it's it's it, 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 he's not very he's not very coordinated. Uh, and he's not fundamentally sound. He doesn't throw things straight. Everything is wide. It, it, it's just, I'm not sure how he's gotten the wins that he has. I, I'm not impressed by him. He, he's going to punch himself out. He. This is a 10-round fight. Um, like I said, he's fought three rounds. He's never fought at this level. Uh, and... He's he's never gone. He, you know he's fought scheduled ten rounders, but he's never fought more than three rounds in a fight. Courtney Bennett, five and zero, oh, two knockouts. Not a puncher. A uh, big dude likes the jab. Works behind the jab. A little bit more fundamentally sound. A little crisper. A little cleaner. Uh, keeps the punches coming. Also pretty good volume. He also fades. He's a bit more patient. He works up behind the, the jab. He's slow. A little bit flat-footed, but he's more fundamentally sound. I think of like Joe Joyce, but not any good. Um, he likes the center of the ring. He can put clean combinations, you know, two punch clean combinations together. He gets a hit, hit a little bit more, but he's kind of mechanical and slow, and 
I don't. I'm not a fan of either one of these fighters. There's only one bet that I like. I, I probably think that Courtney Bennett is going to win, but I, I don't have a lot of confidence in that bet. Right, if you can make that bet, I, I would say I, I'm leaning towards Courtney Bennett. Uh, but I, again, I don't love that bet. The bet that I do love is: Does the fight go the distance at minus four hundred? Why? Let me refresh this. All right, there it is. That's the bet that I like. I, I think this is a decent bet to add to your parlay. I'd probably take Courtney, Courtney Bennett on the money line. But I don't love that bet. I I, I I don't like betting on fighters I don't think are any good. And I don't think either one of these fighters, I don't think either man in here is a good, is a good heavyweight. So he could get knocked out. I, the bet I like is, is this. Does the fight go the distance? No. No, it doesn't go the distance. It's 10 rounds. I can't see this thing going 10 rounds. I like this bet a lot. That's what I would bet on. I would bet this fight does not go the distance. I would throw it in my parlay. I'd build my parlay around it. I, I'm not I, – I'm leaning towards Courtney Bennett, but anything can happen in this fight except that it goes a distance, and that's where I'd make my bet. Does the fight go the distance? No. No, it doesn't. Uh, one times bet, minus 400, makes you 25 bucks, or add it to your parlay. Uh, I, I think putting this in your parlay with the Michael McKinson fight to go the distance is an interesting parlay, and I may do something like that. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys requesting this video. Uh, Two sloppy heavyweight. One's aggressive. One come forward. One's a little cleaner, a little neater. Neither one of them is, I think, a, a, a prospect to keep an eye on. It should be a, a, an interesting fight. I think it definitely ends in a knockout, probably within four or five rounds. Neither one of these guys can go 10. They both punch themselves out. They're both tired. Someone's getting knocked out in this fight. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts. Oh, I didn't share this with you guys. I'm so dumb. Let me share this with you guys real quick. This is what I'm looking at right here. Um, one times bet is going to make you um, – one times bet on, on Courtney Bennett. I, I, I do like Bennett to win. I'm not super confident. It's going to make you almost 50 bucks. A one times bet on the fight not to go the distance. This is what I'm recommending here is the fight not to go the distance. One times bet. Makes it 25 bucks. I cannot see this thing going all 10 rounds. I think that's the safest bet here, and I think it's a pretty safe bet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bucky comes out to you for every single major fight, so you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just five dollars a month gets the absolute best gambling advice. It gets it a lot of the week. And don't forget to head over to carnivorebar.com. Use the promo code Boxing at checkout. Carnivorebar.com. Promo code Boxing at checkout uh, to save ten percent. From Texas, it is October eighteenth, twenty twenty four. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.